Hi, I'm Garrett Muldrum here at Colin Nicholas in Tucson. Today we're going to show you how to set up the SlideMinder remote sending unit. There are a few tools that are not included in the box and we'll go over those more when we get to them. These are our tripod feet and they have pre-drilled holes here to make it easier to use a screwdriver on them. We'll make this one our center foot by placing the floor mount on it. And I will screw this one in with a screwdriver to show you how easy it goes in. I'm going to use a drill now just to speed things up a little bit. We'll slide the center pole through the tripod. Place our weight carrier, a washer, the spring, a second washer. Put it down onto the floor mount and we'll tighten that up with the Allen wrench. Next, we will add the weight and use a shaft collar to hold it in place. Next we will hand tighten the tripod by pulling out and screwing. This is the slide binder unit. This piece holds the arm for the solar panel. And the way that I got that on there was by holding both of them with this hand so that when I slid it on, I could hold both of them, put it on like so. Here's our bar that holds the solar panel. Now let's put together the mounting brackets for the solar panel. Here is what it will look like. Start by placing the angle bracket along the side with a bolt. Line it up with a locking nut and then tighten with a crescent wrench and 7 16 socket. Next, put the U-bolt through and finger tighten it in place. Use the crescent wrench to finish tightening that up. Now we are ready to run the wire. Flip the weight around so that it's directly underneath the slide minder. And then we'll go around the weight one and a half times. And then one and a half times around the encoder. And then out to your stake. You're going to use your left hand as a brake and the right hand to pull it and keep going so that you raise the weight up so that it's a little above halfway. Now open up the box, set this at 50%, and then finger tighten these thumb screws. Now let's place the battery inside. And you can see the lights come on. Now let's place the strobe on top and the antenna. Go ahead and close up the box for a moment. Plug the antenna into the connector. Plug in the strobe. And plug in the solar panel. Now we're all set to turn it on. Lights will blink once here, and the strobe will signal at startup. 
and you're all set to monitor. Thanks for watching.